Um, it was a, it was a <laughs> I can't relate on. Good practice. Uh, I'll tell you what I liked about it. Is uh, this was probably the first practice of the 12 that we've had where I felt like there was a lull. I felt like every practice has been really consistent in terms of intensity and energy, and I felt like there was a lull. And what impressed me was when you know I pointed it out to them, they picked it up. They fixed the problem without me having to go crazy on them. And uh, to me, that's a sign of maturity and it's a sign of focus and mental toughness. And those are the things that we're looking for. And uh, you know, the great teams that I've been fortunate have been to be around have had that internal mechanism where players take it upon themselves to make it right when it's wrong. And they did that. And so uh, even though you never like to have a lull, sometimes the byproduct is you see your team take over. And I thought that's what we saw tonight. It was a fantastic practice, fantastic practice. So is that leadership taking over for some specific guys or team wide? I think it's I think it's maturity. I think it's certain individuals deciding that it's not right and making it right. Guys like Jake Brindle and, and Kenny Young and, and Kenny Clark uh, and Fabian and Randall. I think it's, uh, you know, uh, experience in our system and understanding, you know, what it's supposed to be like. And then I think it's just a drive to be great. And, uh, you know, human nature is every once in a while you have a letdown, but if you let it linger, you get in it was, it was three minutes, and then it was over, and we were going, and it ended up being a fantastic practice. So, to me, those are positive signs. You know, even when something like that happens, if it turns out the way you want it, it's a real positive. What made it feel fantastic? The energy, the competition. I mean, you know, when we did the third down period, and when we did the red zone, I mean, it was competitive. It was all get out. And the energy, and the emotion, and the passion, and the, the physicality that they played with, uh, without taking each other to the ground and you know rolling up on each other, it just to me it was a sign of a mature team that is very focused. So if we can keep practicing that way with that energy, then we're going to be we're going to be a really good team. Usually at this point the defense is kind of ahead, but they still seem like they're ahead, and you've got pretty experienced offensive line. Yeah. Is that a sign that the defense is that much is that good? I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> I mean they. Uh, you know, two Saturdays ago, two Saturdays ago, we had that like 90 plays live. The defense got, they got dragged around the field pretty good. They did. And really since that day, uh, I've seen a change in just the way they're playing. And I think a lot of it has to do with them understanding exactly what the expectations are in each defense. You know, we have introduced a lot of new things. We've kept a lot of the base structure of the defense, but we've introduced a lot of new things. And I think they're understanding it. I think they're confident. And when you understand it and you're confident, you can play fast and you can let loose. And I think we're seeing that. But, uh, uh, you know, Saturday, I thought they looked pretty darn dominant. Today, I thought they looked pretty darn dominant. And uh, that's against a really good, like you said, good offense and a good offensive line. So I just like the competition. You know, we went to do the, the third down period and we had 10 plays. The offense won six, the defense won four. You know, so I was proud of the offense for winning 60%. Uh, it's just great competitive practices. It's fun. It's fun to watch. It's fun to be a part of. It seemed like Fuller was working out an outside receiver today. Is that a switch or is that just adding a It's adding. It, it, it could become a switch, uh, but he goes back inside some. You know, Mossy has developed so much. Um, Darren Andrews has done nice. He's going to look good today. Uh, Devlin can do some things outside. So I, I don't know that it'll ever just be permanent and that's all he'll do, but he will work out there some. Aaron Sharp is making huge strides inside. Uh, it's a good group of receivers. You know, and Alex Van Dyke has been out for a couple of days. You get him back, and it's a pretty darn good looking group. What's those of the rest this weekend? Do you anticipate that impact on the program? You know, at this time, I mean, I, I, I can't expand further on the comment that we already made. It just wouldn't be fair for me. At least. I don't know. How does this spring compare to your three previous springs? Um, it's, it's, it's different, man. It's just uh, the energy is different. Uh, I feel like they know what the expectations are, and they're trying to live up to them at every moment. Uh, like I said, until today, we really haven't even had a lull in any practice. Um, they're pushing each other. You know, one thing that I notice is there's there's very few players on the ground, yet we practice really fast. So to me, that's a sign of athleticism and a sign of, of uh, 
of understand how to play physical, practice fast, and yet take care of each other. Uh, you know, it just feels, it feels more professional to me. You know, it feels more like I've always been used to my, my whole life, the way NFL teams practice. That's what it feels like to me. I'm not saying we're an NFL team. By any stretch of the imagination, the way we practice feels professional to me. I think it's fantastic. I love the way we practice all, all spring. Is this a matter of your program hitting stride? I don't know. I hate to say that. We're right to say we ever made it or hit. No, 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 no. Not. No, you never want to say I, you made it, but understanding, understanding the expectations, they're doing understanding what they, the you want them to yeah, do. Understanding how we're going to do things. You know, the guys that are in this program now have been. This is their our fourth spring together. Uh, you know, the guys that were here when I got them, Jake and there's a handful left. You know, and the rest were kind of grew up in this system. So I just think it's been really good, really productive, extremely productive. I know I'm sounding a little going a little overboard, but it's been good. How's Matt Dickerson? He's, you know, he and Jacob have made big strides. Uh, physically, you know, the way they play the game, uh, their strength. Uh, I think we're developing depth there because that's a concern. You know, it's a real concern. Tack has done a nice job. Minu's done a nice job. Carl Bulick's done a nice job. Uh, the guy that's been a, a surprise in a, in a good way is Najee playing there. He still has to learn how to play with lower pad level. Sometimes he'll, he'll, you'll see the offensive line in and he'll almost pass set a little bit instead of attacking with his pads down. But he is violent, and when he gets his pads down and he uses his hand, he's got he's got the tools to be a good defensive lineman. Do you see a pecking order at all emerging among quarterbacks? No. <laughs> He's fine. Got an ass. No comments. He's fine. Do you want to keep giving Miles uh, practice reps? In? I didn't know he was doing that. <laughs> nah, if he's doing that, he's just messing around. Because Miles has to be moving. Out there. So if there's a drill he's not involved in, he just like goes and gets involved. But I didn't even know he was taking that. Right he's not on the depth as a kid. That's just him. He loves to like practice, you know. That's what he is. He's practice. Wait, you got a depth chart? No, not no. Uh, you just said that. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> did I didn't did I say that? Yes, you did. <laughs> Play the tape. So. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thanks.